Good morning. Good morning. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Oh, heavens, to Mary's right. We need to try that again. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Much better. Faith, hope, and joy are alive. God of all creation, we praise you. God of resurrection and eternal life, we have gathered here to worship you and celebrate your victory. Let us pray. From the darkness of the grave, blood poured out, a crown of thorns. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. From the triumph that is won over the power and fear of death, Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walking from the empty tomb, opening wide the gates of life, Christ the Lord is risen today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord of life, you defeated death to show that we can rise from all that binds us to the world, pride envy, anger, fear, the debt of sin that holds us here. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord of life, you defeated death by demonstrating a love that is beyond our understanding, that reaches out even to us, saving grace to all who hear. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord of life, we pray for all who bring your word of life as a light to those in darkness, for those who bring your word of peace to those enslaved by fear, for those who bring your word of love to those in need of comfort. Lord of love and Lord of peace, Lord of resurrection life, be known through our lives and through your power. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Amen. Let us sing Morning Has Broken. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing. Praise for the morning, praise for them springing, fresh from the world. Sweet the rains new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light. Eden saw play, praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. Boy, it's early for that. <laughs> Friends, let us pray. Mighty God, you are the source of all wisdom and all truth. Open our hearts and our minds as you open the tomb that we might be filled with wonder and understanding and your grace as we hear these words proclaimed on this first day of new life. It is in Christ's resurrected name that we pray. Amen. Our scripture lesson this morning is from the Gospel of Mark, the 16th chapter beginning with the eighth verse. Hear the word of the Lord on our hearts this morning. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome 
bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was, was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place that they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So the women went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that's where the Gospel of Mark ends. With the women fleeing from the tomb and saying nothing to anyone. Mark's was the first Gospel written, and it is quite a cliffhanger. Uh, people over the years have added on to it, but we know that these were not part of the original writing. In the original manuscripts from Mark, the oldest ones that have been found, that's where the story ends. For those of us who remember who shot J.R., it's that kind of a cliffhanger. It just, you like, what happens next? There's nothing left of Mark's gospel. That's where it stopped. And so scholars over the years have really pondered why this gospel ends like this. For, you know, if, if you remember waiting for the next Harry Potter book to come out, or if you're waiting for the next Outlander book to come out, you're like, there's so much anticipation. It's like, it can't end there. But we know that it doesn't end there. And because we know the story, we know that they finally said something to somebody. And I think for Mark's gospel, what happened was that the gospel was written for people who had already had eyewitness accounts from parents or grandparents or friends or relatives who had been there, who had been with the disciples when the women came running back and said, we went to the tomb this morning and the body was gone. Isn't it typical of an angel? The first thing they always say is, don't be afraid. And what happened? Everybody's afraid anyway. You run into an angel, at, you know, first thing in the morning while it's still dark and they said, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Everything is changed. These women, the women were the ones who stuck it out, right? The disciples fled. It was the women who were at the foot of the cross as Jesus was crucified. It was the women who were at the cross when Jesus' body was taken down. It was the women who were at the cross when Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus' body, wrapped it in a shroud, placed it in the tomb, and rolled that huge, heavy, stone across the entrance and then they went home and they wept and they prayed and they tried to figure out how they were going to get on with the rest of their lives when the one that they had been following Jesus the Messiah was dead they had been told that Jesus would rise he had told them, I will see you again in Galilee. It's kind of like, meet me back at the house. I'll be there. But their hearts didn't understand. Their minds could not grasp that what he was saying to them would actually come true. That when they went to the grave on that first Easter morning, that Christ would not be there because Christ had been risen. 
And we know that they did go, and they did tell, and they spread the word, and everyone they told spread the word that Jesus Christ was risen. Christ has risen. Christ has risen indeed. Christ has risen. Christ has risen indeed. Christ has risen. Christ has risen, Christ has risen indeed. And we who gather on this first morning of Easter for this year, we, somewhere in our DNA, somewhere in our hearts, we too know that Christ rose and that Christ reigns. And it is our responsibility not to run away in fear, but to go and tell the good news to everyone that we meet, that Christ in fact is risen, that Christ reigns, that Christ will come again. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Amen. Friends, let us join together in our affirmation of faith. This is the good news which we have received, in which we stand, and by which we are saved, if we hold it fast, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, that he appeared first to the women, then to Peter and to the twelve, and then to many faithful witnesses. We believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is our Lord and our God. Amen. Our hymn is Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks. <clears throat> alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. We have been crucified with Christ. Now we shall live forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give praise to his name. Let us pray. Mighty God, we give you thanks. We don't even know how to begin to be grateful for what you have done for each of us. That Jesus Christ, in being the one sacrifice for our all, all of our atonement, has given us new life, new hope. We are filled with grace and joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give us strength, give us courage, give us wisdom. Send us forth from here today, knowing in our hearts that we have been forgiven, that we are loved, and for that we are grateful. We join together in the prayer that you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now, friends, the stone has been rolled away. The grave was a The body is gone. This is not again. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.